just in the exact same way that you have to allow other people to make mistakes in a good way, the people on your team, so that they can learn and become better, you have to allow your opponents to make mistakes, to give you an advantage, to give you that opening, to give you the opportunity. When it's their turn, you have to let them fuck their turn up. When it's your turn, you have to take your time and make sure you aren't fucking your turn up. That is where patience comes in. That's where patience is aggressive. Let them make mistakes. Let them fuck themselves up. They are trying to make mistakes. What is like as one of the most famous uh, Art of War things. Don't interrupt your opponents when they're making mistakes. Fucking let it ride, baby. Patience. Patience. Look at them go. Look how badly they're fucking everything up. Oh my god, look at them go. Wow. They have no fucking clue how hard they are just screwing themselves over. Patience. Just let them keep going. Oh, just, just look at them. Just let them. Just, oh wow. They just don't plan on stopping anytime soon, do they? Just let them keep on doing it. Patience. And then when they're finally done, you fucking flatten them. You capitalize. Patience is aggressive. Patience is aggressive. Patience hurts when you fuck up. When it's applied correctly, patience wins games. Patience wins everything. Patience is the winning factor to everything. Patience is timing. Patience is the rhythm. Patience is how you put your finger on the pulse of the game. Patience is how you understand deeply what they are trying to do before they do it. Patience means that you are seeing things differently and you are acting accordingly. Patience. Let them fuck up. Let them fuck up. Do not stop them. Don't Oh, you were fucking, you want to fuck up that badly? Oh, 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 hold my fucking beer. No. Wait, just wait, 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 wait. Sometimes the most aggressive patience is just hiding in plain sight. Just hold on. Wait, they're not done yet. Let them fuck up and then let them do it again. And then just keep on stacking it. Just as you stack your advantages one point at a time, one percentage point at a time, let them fucking dig that hole. One shovel full at a time. Just let them dig, let them dig, let them dig. Keep on digging. Shh. And they get deep enough down in there, all you have to do is just push that dirt back on top. They did it to themselves. How easy is that? They fucking beat themselves. And you know what? All the people that have been beating you, guess what they're saying? Wow. That was easy. He just did it for me. That's what impatience gets you. You're just doing it for them. You're doing all the fucking work for them. Why would you do that? Why? Why? That is so fucked up. How many times have I said it already? There is plenty that is going to fuck you up. There are plenty of things that are going to get in the way. Life is going to hold you back in plenty of different ways. You don't need to do it to yourself. And if you are being impatient, if you are an impatient person, I promise you, you are fucking yourself up in so many more ways that you can you can't even realize the amount the pile is so high you can't even see the top of it you don't even know what you're standing next to and all the people that beat you are just wow that sure was fucking easy damn he just did it to himself no sweat man that was simple why 
Why? It's not for a good reason. I don't care. That is the easiest generalization I am ever going to be able to make. If you are an impatient person, you are beating yourself. Full stop. Bottom line. You're beating yourself. I, there's, it's an indefensible position. I am so comfortable making that generalization, even though it isn't really, because that is simply an unavoidable fact that is just undeniable in every way. You apply any amount of logic to it, and it is completely unreasonable. Patience will only ever put you in a position that you don't want to be in, and you got there as fast as you fucking could. For no reason. You have to respect yourself. Patience is a deep, deep respect for what you're doing and how much you care about it. There's no mistaking real patience. You can think that you're being patient by waiting around and taking your time and doing all this stuff. Patience is not waiting. Real, powerful patience is aggression applied with precision it is so so effective and yet just seemingly is mistaken for so many other things when i think about precision makes the decision i've talked about it in another video but this is the epitome of it patience when I think about, and the same thing, hiding in plain sight. So let's think about, you're on, you're playing an FPS. And it's like CSGO or Valorant. Search and destroy. You have sites with a lot of different corners in them, all this stuff. Whatever your favorite map is, you get to A. And you got there off of a rotation. You tried to go to a different site, you got fucked up, you bailed out, you were on the back end of the rotation, which turned into the front end, you got to get a premium position in the back of the site, you rotated faster than they did, your team is on the site. If you're in the back corner, and you're right next to the entrance, and everybody files out past you, and they're all looking the other way, you can tell there's three different people, let's say, and they have no clue that you are there. They are all, you are completely behind them. What should you do? Is the first thing that you're gonna do just wildly firing the moment the first person comes out with two people behind them? Or are you going to allow them to enter and give you the best vantage point possible on multiple people. Because if you just fire, you start firing the moment the first person comes out and there's two more people behind them, you're not going to win the firefight against all three people. But if you're patient and you hold off and you understand the firefight hasn't begun yet, just because they're in front of you doesn't mean the firefight has begun yet, you have the opportunity to take all of them on under your terms. Are you approaching the situation under your terms or under their terms? If you have this incredible spot in the back of the site and they don't know that you're there, the worst thing that you can do is say, hey, I'm over here and trade one for one. And then the other two people are, oh, fuck. That's a lot of information for them. So when you're hiding in plain sight, stuff like that, do you understand when the trade actually starts, do you understand how many people you can actually handle on your own? Do you understand what your gun is capable of? Do you understand how good your aim is? Do you understand how they're going to aim at you? There's two people right in front of you. One guy is facing directly away from you, and one guy is facing to the side towards the other person, but he hasn't seen you yet. Should you fire at the guy that's facing directly away from you or the guy that's already halfway facing you? And it hedges the question to, yeah, that guy that's already halfway there, you tap him first 
and then it's going to take the other person way longer to swing all the way around. Is that how you're thinking about, well, how is everything going to line up? Once I make my first action, what reactions are th is that going to trigger? When you're impatient and you just start firing, you don't even get into that situation in the first place. To even consider that more advanced situation, you're cutting yourself off from learning opportunities in so many ways, and you're never as effective as you possibly could be. Precision makes the decision. If you just fired on someone and you miss and they get around the corner, this is the last example I use, the first thing that you're going to do is run across that 10 foot wall that's going to take like three seconds to get around. You're just, oh, I'm going to get you the whole time. No, they're sitting there waiting for you. Once you miss, what's the best decision that you can make? How patient are you allowed to be? How much time do you have? The first thing that I want to do is make sure that they do not completely understand the situation because their complete understanding of the situation would end with me running around the wall, chasing them around line of sight that I have not maintained and them killing me for free. That is playing completely into all of the information that they expect with zero patience on my end. If I'm playing patiently, the first thing that I want to do after I have missed is make sure that they are not working off of complete information. So the last thing that I'm going to do is do exactly what they expect me to do. And if you don't know what that is, you need to consider the situation way, way more. If you're not considering what they're thinking about what you are doing, why are you, what are you even thinking about? That is a very poorly constructed competitive mindset. So now, in considering what they're considering, well, shit, if he doesn't walk around this wall in the next three or four seconds, I don't know where he is anymore. That's the first thing I want to make them think is, well, I don't actually know where he is now. Is he still just on the other side of the building? I'm almost inclined to just literally just get away from that building straight up. It might be that it's pretty obvious that you're just in the opposite direction, but the further that you are from that building, the wider that angle becomes. It may only be two feet within that first, the crotch of the angle, but the more time that passes, the further and further away, the more different places I could be. That forces them to be patient. So now they don't know what they're working with anymore. They might have a general direction, but the longer that goes by, Without them seeing you, the worse that information becomes. You are just ruining all of their operatable advantages. They don't know what they're talking about anymore. So then, it's your turn to make the best decision with the information that you have. You know that they are also in that direction. Now, when you were getting the fuck out of there, or you keeping track, of the different angles that he could have been going past. When is the next point of line of sight that you could make with that person? When is that going to occur? Are you controlling the next time that both of you see each other? Because the next time I see that person, I'm taking shots. And guess what? The next time they see me, I have a hard time believing they aren't taking shots. It's going to be very important the next time we see each other. So now, where am I allowing myself to be seen from? All of this stuff needs to be made. Those decisions have to be made quickly, quickly. And that's where the experience comes in. That's where all of your understanding of the arena that you are within comes together to make quick, informed decisions. But if you aren't patient with your overall learning, you are not going to see the arena for what it is. If you are not seriously considering the way that you interact with the arena, you don't know as much about the game as you should.
all of these decisions add up and you have to make them very, very quickly. That's where the mistakes come in. That is the designed experience to force you to make a lot of hard decisions really quickly, to force you into making mistakes and to see who can make the least amount of mistakes overall. And if you're not patient and you're just overextending constantly, you are going to be making the most mistakes. You already have been. That's why you're not the fucking best player around. And guess what? The best player around has taken a lot of time. He's been very, she has been very, very patient with how they have constructed their thought process around how they approach the map. They have seen the way that other people go about it and they take adva advantage of those situations but they do it patiently. There's no way around it. They understand the timing. They are going to let you walk into those mistakes and they are there ready to capitalize as soon as they can. They are patient, but they are not waiting around. They are laying traps. They are setting up situations. They are there to capitalize when the time is right. They are being as aggressive as the situation allows them to. That is it. Bottom line. It is precision applied at the exact right timing. You are never just waiting around. Patience is so much more powerful than that. And at the same time, when you are patient with your abilities, you understand the threat that you possess. Patience in every aspect. It's all about timing. It's all about the rhythm. If you understand the entire situation, front to back, top to bottom, inside and out, you understand things like, how many times can I even use this ability in the whole game, in a fight, in a situation? Will it be ready for the next time that I need it if I use it now? All of that cost analysis is, has patience deeply ingrained in it. I can only use my Q five times in a fight. But if I don't start using it now, then that decreases as well. So do you have to keep that timing? Do you have to make sure that the game is aligned with that timing? Or is it five times max, but you're only expecting to use it three times successfully? That stuff informs the way that you go about using all of your abilities. The best players understand that innate timing of, well, if I use my Q now, it's not going to be ready for when he uses his E. And that's what I need it for. Stopping him from Eing with my Q wins the fight. So I'm not just going to roll up and Q. Okay, well, now he E'd and he just won the fight for free. How fucking patient were you actually? You weren't and that lost the fight. You didn't feel you didn't fill your role. You were not patient. That fight was your fault. You didn't land all of your abilities at the right times. You didn't prevent them from doing what they wanted to do at the same time as you didn't do what you needed to do with your timing and your turn. Patience is ingrained in everything. And it never means that you're just sitting around waiting. Patience is vital. I don't know how many times I said patience in this video, but I'm thinking it's just about time to be done with it. How long has this gone on for? Oh, wow. Look at that. An hour on the dot. Patience is beyond crucial. Patience shows me who you really are. That's what it is. Are you playing off of an understanding of complicated variables? Or are you just fucking unga bunga, just fucking going after it, zug zugging it, and just going crazy, just smashing rocks together as fast as you can? Because I'd tell you, I think. 
after this video, it's pretty obvious what the right. I would say what the right way to that's not it. There's just. <laughs> after an hour of saying the word patience in between every single sentence, I would like to think that you understand that without patience, you're not going to get what you want. You're not going to get what you need. You're not going to be able to take it easy. You're not going to be able to stay dangerous. And you're never going to be safe. It's fucking dangerous out there. If you don't understand the timing and the rhythm, and you don't understand why patience makes everything work, It's not going to work out. I'll tell you right now. You might uh, think that you have short term success in one way or another. But that longevity is not going to be there. And that is real success. Sustained consistency. Without patience. I personally don't believe that it is possible to accomplish anything real and meaningful. Well, you know what? Maybe that's just my opinion. If anyone has a... Uh, any reason to think otherwise, I'd love to know. I appreciate it. Thanks.